life is about to get easier here because Seth from Land to House is coming over tomorrow and he is going to be installing one of his ram pumps that will allow these tanks to be full 24 seven. There's a constant stream of water coming up from the creek, filling these tanks, and we never have to fire that pump up again. So today, to get started, uh, if you can see, they're a little crooked. There's a little flat spot here in the hill, and, and it's worked good enough. But what I wanna do is right now I've got this tank emptying, and I'm gonna pull them down from the hill, and I'm going to level this area out, and I've got some blocks down there I'm going to hopefully get both of these tanks set up, up from off the ground a little bit and get those in a permanent spot before Seth comes and hooks up the ram pump and gets these tanks filling. I don't want to have to disconnect a bunch of stuff and do it after he's installed it. Okay, I think I've got this one side leveled enough now. It's not gonna be perfect, and that's okay. Um, if it's off by a little bit, that's all right. I'm not too concerned. More than anything, it was just to get it up off the ground and get it up on those blocks. Um, just to be a little easier to get the hose on and off. I've got a pretty big rock here to pry out. Uh, that's pretty much what I figured. Most of this was going to be prying rocks and moving it, not so much digging. So I guess we'll get back to it. This will be empty here in just a minute. And see if we can't get it leveled up and be ready to go for tomorrow. Oh, okay, I broke the camera. You know, that's awesome. Today is the day that Seth from Land to House is coming by and we are installing the ram pump. We can finally have non-stop supply of water to our tanks without having to deal with water pumps and hauling fuel tanks and loud engines running. This is going to be great. I have a feeling my neighbors might appreciate it more than I do so they don't have to listen to that pump run anymore. I don't know. It's possible. So like I said, Seth was on his way and he's here now and we are getting started at getting this ram pump installed. Uh, today we've got a three quarter inch pump which is right here. And we have to install a few things. We need an intake, so we're gonna use a five gallon bucket, which we've got here. And uh, one of my favorite products is called Unisil. It is a little rubber washer looking thing. And you put that into the side of your bucket and it will hold on to a pipe. And 
you can just basically shove your uh, supply line or your drive pipe into that grommet and that'll take our water from our bucket filter system to the pump and um, we'll be installing that here after we get these uh, buckets installed. This is the first bucket of two um, and what we've done is we've added some hardware cloth and then some window screen to help filter out whatever may come um, out of the culvert to keep this from clogging up. From there, and what were these called again? A unisil. Okay, this is a unisil. This is awesome because, especially now, for example, um, this bucket is covered from the top, so there's no need to reach back in to have to tighten a fitting. This is slightly flared here at the opening, so when that piece of pipe gets pushed through, it's going to bite in and make a really solid seal for that pipe to run down to the next bucket. I bet we could put maybe even a concrete block under that waterfall to make it that much higher. Okay. And then as long as we have at least four gallons a minute coming down to our second bucket, okay. it'll run the ram pump. That's all it needs? Yep. Wow, okay. I guess that's possible from there, huh? Yeah, let's give it a try and see. Okay, sounds good. that down okay I guess uh, so if I'll try to feed this through to you we'll see how far it goes and then that'll be where our next bucket will be we just set our supply bucket into the water we've got a nice culvert here that will allow the water to pour into the bucket and you can already see some of the silt and debris that's being trapped on top of that window screen. But this is going to have water coming down about a 20 foot pipe. And it's going to go into our secondary bucket, which will be the air free zone for the ram pump. The bucket here is going to act as an air free place for the drive pipe to connect to. If air gets into the ram pump, it's going to stop because the pressure wave is trying to find the first open air source. And that's going to be our bucket here. So the bucket also catches silt and sediment that's coming down the line. And that's also something you don't want in your storage tanks or in the ram pump itself. So what we have here is the supply line coming down into the top of this bucket. And then you can see halfway, the water is coming out of this unisil. And that's where the drive pipe is going to be connected. Now our pump's gonna use less water than this, which means the excess will be coming out of these little air holes on top. And also, if air does get in here, these will just allow it to escape. All right, so what Seth is doing now is getting this three quarter inch pipe put together. Um, this is the next piece of the puzzle here to get the ram pump installed. It's just letting the glue dry for a little while. Um, that pipe is going to come and wrap all the way down this creek, and it's going to end up feeding right into that ram pump. And that ram pump is going to then feed all the way up to the top of the hill here to where the tanks are set. Okay, so I am having to improvise here. I bought 150 feet of hose. I thought it was enough. Clearly I'm horrible at measurements because I am short by about 40 feet. So luckily Seth has enough fittings with him so that we can take the end of this black hose and we're just gonna connect it to this old garden hose I have laying here uh, and that will complete the run of hose that we need to start filling those tanks up. Is 
still got it. Witness, still there. <laughs> now we have the opening scene of our movie. Oh gosh. Notice how I did me exactly cackling. what he said not to do. Me cackling in the background. <laughs> what not to do while installing a ramp. Whatever you do, drop don't everything. drop this. Whatever you do, don't drop this. Oh, you mean throw it in the creek? Okay. okay. Okay, time to get this thing started. If you'll open up your drive pipe ball valve, water's going to gush out of that waste valve. So what's happening now is water is bypassing the pump and it's going out the delivery side. It's gonna snake around until it matches the height of the source, which is gonna be a couple feet up here. And so now, if you will push down your waste valve, mm -hmm. and you're gonna do that several times, What's happening is it's pushing water up the hill until we have enough water in this pipe that's pushing back down on the pump. So that right there may take anywhere from 10 times to 100 times to get it going. Every time you hear that valve snap closed, it's pushing just a little bit of water up that pipe. Gotcha. This size pump can deliver about a maximum of 700 gallons in a day. So every time that cycle clicks, you're pushing uh, somewhere around two or three inches up that pipe. Good timing because we're, I had to empty them to move them yesterday. <laughs> so I gotta get watered all the pigs. Oh, this is fantastic. So you can see it's not quite what you have with that gas pump, but it's 24-7. Yeah. Yep. Instead of running it for a little bit. Yes. She's on top of the I said earlier when I was recording that I think the neighbors might appreciate this more than we do. So <laughs> they don't have to listen to that pump run the whole time. Okay, um, that completes the ram pump install with Seth from Landa House, and we are so grateful for him coming out here to do this. And um, on top of installing the ram pump, just a thank you to you for pushing us to get onto YouTube. Um, he was very inspiring and had a lot of good advice to get our channel going. Um, and we're just so grateful for it. And now we've got water for the animals in the garden too. So thank you, Seth, yep, very absolutely. much.